Some see hard times, I see teaching. Some see a woman out begging for change, I see Jesus. Uh, I try to get one a day. Um, five days a week, you know, taking weekends off just like anybody else. And to be honest, songwriter hours are not bad, you know. I can't start anything before 10 a.m. and we're, you know, we're done by dinner. So it's it's really, it, it, I'm, I'm honored to get to do what I do. And, uh, but, but yeah, pretty good clip, you know, one a day. You only, you only hit what you aim at. Um, so sometimes to go in and just ethereally pull from the clouds like, the muse really has to be working that day for you to get something tangible. But um, no, if you're writing for a specific artist, you're thinking about what's going on in their lives, what they may want to say. You're looking at their back catalog, trying to figure out what have they not said yet. Um, and then you're trying to find a morsel of truth in your own life or in the writers in the room's lives um, to see you know, what is true to us that's not going to sound like we're faking it, that could also be true to them. The inspiration comes from the conversations with co-writers or in a, a piece of great art. If I, if I watch a film that's really moving, it's probably annoying for my wife. Uh, I'll, I'll have to pause and write something down or hum something through. Or sometimes when it's over, I'm like, don't talk to me, don't talk to me. And I just run out and, and start taking notes. Because even if I don't have the time or the full inspiration to pull a song forth at that moment, I'm going to have something to draw off of next time I'm in a room or we're hurting for ideas because again, you know, uh, a song a day is, is a pretty tough clip and, and you start to run out of inspiration but it's amazing what you can do when you're in tune with allowing yourself to be inspired, how often it comes. If you can somehow as a songwriter or a poet or a writer of any way, shape or form, any ilk, if you can help someone find contentment, peace in their lot in what they've chosen or even what they've been forced into then you've reached the heart of a man you've reached the soul of a person and it's just so it's so important to do that.